Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video and this is the continuation part of our MBVM series. So this is the third video of our MBVM series. In the first part, we see the intro of MBVM series and in the second part, we see the view binding. So I already uploaded that video. That's why I am not going to upload view binding again. So you can check the playlist. Now, this is the third video according to our series. And in this video, we are going to see the data binding. What is data binding in Android? and in the next part of this data binding we will explore more about data binding but in this video we are going to see just basics of data binding what is data binding and how we can achieve the same work like view binding using data binding so don't further delay now let's start the video and see what is data binding in android so for this simply open first of all i open my chrome browser to show you what is data binding so you have to type here what is data binding in android and you can see the data binding library it is just a library which will it is a part of android jetpack components and we already see the parts of all all components of android jetpack so the data binding library is help to directly bind the ui or we can say directly bind the data into our ui elements without write any code inside our main activity so what is the difference between data binding and view binding view binding is basically just for binding the ui elements and to remove the find view id so we can directly access the views from our activity main activity dot kt or main activity dot java but data binding say you don't need to write any code here like we don't need to write button dot set a text we can directly type the whole code here or we can say we can directly set the data inside our ui elements without writing any code in our main attribute.kt so this is the advantage of data binding so it is better to use data binding in big projects instead of view binding so in this video we are going to see the normal working of data binding so we, i am going to show you how to achieve the work of like view binding using data binding now in the next part we will see how to replace our main activity code with our and we can how to write that code directly inside our xml so before performing this you should know how data binding work and how the basics of data binding work that's why this is the intro video of data binding so now let's implement data binding in our project so for implementing data binding in our project you have to come inside your build.gradle module app and come here and press enter here and after this you have to type here build features and now take two curly braces and inside this you have to type here data binding true that's it and you have to click on sync now so when you click on sync now it will add this data binding so we can directly use inside our android but one more thing i want to say in latest android if you want to use data binding this is my latest android version so if you want to use data binding you have to also add a plugin kotlin kept to use data binding so for this first of all let's wait for this thing finish and then we will add kotlin kept plugin so this is build successful now add a kotlin kept plugin so you have to type here id then take two quotes kotlin dash capped click on sync now so it will also add kotlin capped so it is also added successfully now we are ready to write the we are ready to use data binding in our project so you can see this is the normal project data binding tutorial and what i take here this is the relative layout and i take here text view this is the text view and this is the edit text and you can enter anything in edit text and this is a submit button simple button now what i am going to do in this project let us suppose user enter anything here and then after click on submit button you after click on submit button i am going to display that text inside this text here so we are going to use data binding so first of all we have to convert this layout inside our into our data binding layout so how we can do this so you have to click here then right click then you have to click on show context actions and simply click on this convert to data binding layout so it will convert this so you can see now this whole layout is convert to data binding layout now the what is the difference between that one layout and in this layout so i control set to show you so you can see this is the relative layout so it is your choice whether you want to convert this layout to data binding using this or you can do it manually so how to do it manually so first of all you have to change the heading layout or we can say main layout to our layout tag instead of any constraint layout linear layout you have to change it to layout tag after this you have to cut these things Control x cut and now inside this you can take any layout as usual we take and set the layout with match parent height wrap content and paste that things here so i paste it two times in this now you have to close this and now 
you you can type and everything which i take earlier inside this so i cut these things from here control x cut and simply paste these things here so you can see now this is normal layout so now we can see this is the data mining layout so we have to just add a extra layout tag here and we have to add rule root elements on that layout tag and we have to take another layout where we can design our ui so hope you understand how to change the normal layout to data mining layout so you can do it manually or i control z and you can directly do it so if i control z so if i click here then click on show context convert to data mining layout so you can see it is fine now you may be wondering what is this data so this is something which will help to directly bind the data inside inside our ui element so we will going to use this function in next video not in this video so delete this now i will show you how to use data in our main activity so first of all i implement the data mining in our activity main so it will automatically going to create a variable so when you type here private late in it val and when you give any variable name let us suppose i want to give binding so you can see it's showing the option here binding activity main binding so this is our main activity so it automatically change the you can see i i add the data binding inside our activity main xml file so it automatically remove this underscore chain the first letter to capital and also add a suffix word activity main binding so this is now we can use this now we can remove this set content view so instead of set content view i can type here binding equal data binding util this one then dot set content view inside this we have to pass the context and where you want to use our data binding inside our activity main because this main activity represent activity main so this is done now we can directly access the views like view binding so you can see if i come inside this so this is the submit button and the id of the submit button is btn submit this is id of the edit text is get name edit text and the id of the text view is you can see main text view so we can directly access these so let us suppose if i want to access button so i have to type a button dot but btn submit you can see i am able to access this set on click listener then take to calibrations and i can perform whatever i want so i want to display a name on my edit text so i type i create a function here display name i am going to create this function take curly braces here and create function so this is fine now inside this what i want to do first of all i have to take the name from our edit text and then i want to show that name on my text view so i type here by binding dot main text view dot set text so instead of set text we have to use in kotlin directly text now how we can get the name from our edit text binding dot get name edit text get name edit text and dot text that's it the work is finished so you can see it removed the all boiler plate code like find view id and this is the same working of like view binding but it also provide lots of feature and we will going to see that feature in next video now maybe you wondering how this name is come here so you can see in my activity name main xml i give the id name to this element get underscore name underscore et so it will going to remove the all underscores so you can see there is no underscore and it will going to capitalize the second word after underscore so it capitalized this n and it capitalized e so i hope you understand now this is the same with button submit so btn capital s submit so the name present inside our this button submit here btn underscore submit so it removed the underscore and also capitalized s and this is the same with text view the id name of the text view is main underscore text underscore view so it will going to change it to main and then remove the underscore capital T and capital V. So hope you understand. So don't confuse with with this name and with this name because data binding convert these names to these names. So we can directly access this. Now let us suppose I want to use this. I have a lots of text to you. I have a hundred text to you. And so you want to avoid the using word word binding. So what we can do this? You can directly type here binding dot apply. And this is the also feature. So you can now directly type here whatever you want. So I want to access my main text to you. So I can type here. If I want to use access my button submit, I can type here. So you can see I don't need to write any word binding like this. So this is very beneficial when you have hundred of text views. So we can also avoid this binding and we can directly access these views. So this is very amazing thing. Now let's check our app whether the app is working or not. And if it is working fine, then we will end this video. So I run this project and it will start building. So now the app builds successful and it will install the application inside our phone. And the application is going to install. 
so application install successfully so let us suppose i enter anything here so i type here hi and then i click on submit you can see the text is display here and it is working fine so this is the same way of replacing the find view by id and we can achieve this view binding but i use data binding here so there is lots of advantage of data binding so we will going to see that advantages in next video so i hope you learn something new in this video if you have any query you can comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please share the channel and please subscribe the channel thank you see you soon in next amazing video